Welcome back to America Needs Fatima's series on the angels. While their abilities are extraordinary, even more sublime is their mission. Come with me as I explore the mysteries surrounding God's most faithful ministers, the admirable creatures we call the angels. Among the angels, St. Michael, the archangel, stands resplendent, a warrior, a custodian, and a herald of heavenly truths. He has been so highly honored that in the Middle Ages, the knights considered St. Michael the first of all knights and, therefore, our natural ally in the struggle between good and evil. But what is a true knight? And why should you and I think of St. Michael as a knight? Brazilian Catholic thinker, Polinio Correa de Oliveira, once spoke of a knight as perfectly loyal, ideally strong, pure, and victorious. St. Michael is all that and more. He is a knight who has placed his whole confidence in God. After Our Lady was born, he also put all his confidence in Our Lady. Yes, St. Michael had true devotion to Our Lady, making him an even greater ally since Our Lady crushes the devil. Dr. Polinio says, St. Michael is the chief who fought against the devil and cast him into hell. He is the leader of the guardian angels of individuals and the guardian angels of institutions. He is the guardian angel of the institution of institutions, the Holy Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church. Therefore, he has a custodian function, which one may ask how it relates to his attitude or mission of casting into hell those who rose against our Lord, on the one hand, and on the other hand, the protection he gives the church and men in this veil of tears and this arena of life. And we see that these two missions are linked. He defended God. God wanted to employ him as his shield against the devil. God wants him to be the shield of men against the devil. God wants him to be the shield of the Holy Catholic Church against the devil. But he is not merely a shield. He is also a sword. He not only defends, but also defeats and casts into hell. What an incredible description of St. Michael. He has a holy sword to defeat the powers of evil and a shining shield form of God's graces to protect us from the devil. The more graces we have protecting us, the better. We can receive God's graces many ways, but one of the most powerful sources of spiritual grace is the Catholic Mass. Attending a Catholic Mass often will bolster us with graces only present during a Mass. These graces can help us ward off attacks from the devil, as well as help us to see the path to God more clearly. Unfortunately, the reality is that some of us are unable to attend Mass as often as we would like. This is why America Needs Fatima partnered with a local Catholic priest who offers a full Catholic Mass every day for anyone who joins our Child of Mary program. We have a special intention for our liturgy today for our Mass, America Needs Fatima's Children of Mary. And especially uh, we offer this divine liturgy for Lucy Cosgrove, for Matthew Long, for Mary Wyman, for Lisa Gibson, for Sarah. If you are unable to attend Mass in person as often as you would like, but want the graces a daily Mass brings, consider joining our Child of Mary group. As soon as you sign up to become a Child of Mary, you will receive a subscription to Crusade Magazine, a beautiful metal lapel pen, featuring the image of the pilgrim statue of Our Lady. And most importantly, your name and intentions will be sent immediately to Father Jerry, who will offer a full Catholic Mass for you every morning, 365 days a year. Click the link in the description below to sign up today. Okay, back to the incredible description of St. Michael. Benedictine monk Dom Granger has a text on the angel's contemplative devotion that I know you will find fascinating. He says, The church considers St. Michael as the mediator of her liturgical prayer. He stands between humanity and divinity. For his glory, God, who has established admirably the visible and invisible hierarchies, 
abundantly employs in his service these heavenly spirits who incessantly contemplate the adorable face of the Father and know, better than men, how to contemplate the beauty of his infinite perfections. In other words, in the heavenly court where angels eternally contemplate the divine, St. Michael assumes a mediating role between us and heaven, presenting the Eucharistic offering to the Eternal Father. And Dom Granger says that St. Michael also presents the Eucharistic oblation to the Eternal Father during the Mass. How incredible! And this is also how he appeared to the three little shepherds at Fatima, with the chalice in hand. He stands as a beacon of heavenly happiness through face-to-face -face contemplation of God. That joy occasionally filters down to the souls attuned to spiritual truths, like the saints. Dr. Polinio says, But that is what we lack so direly nowadays. One has no idea of heavenly happiness, and without the idea of a heavenly happiness, one has no appetite for heaven, and people wallow in the sheer craving of the goods of the earth. The lack of yearning for heavenly treasures starkly contrasts with the angels' heavenly happiness, ethereal concerts, and eternal canticles. This absence of longing for heavenly splendor confines many souls to the transient allurements of earth. People no longer want to be virtuous. So, let's ask the angels, especially St. Michael, to instill in us the yearning for heavenly glories they so abundantly possess. Let's also ask him to help us be knights of God and Our Lady, unafraid to defend the church in her need. As St. Michael stands as our heavenly ally in this earthly struggle, let us invoke his intercession to guide, protect, and lead us toward the heavenly kingdom, where our aspirations find their ultimate fulfillment. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and return for the next installment in our Angel series. We want your soul to receive as many graces as possible. Consider joining our special Child of Mary group. We have a full Catholic Mass prayed every day for each and every one of our children of Mary. Click your screen now to have a daily Mass prayed in your name.